Markets falter in the wake of Paris attacks. Thank you for joining us for another Bank of Cardiff newscast. The economic effects of the Paris attacks are continuing to ripple outwards in the days and weeks after targeted terrorist activity ended in tragedy for 129 victims and their families in the French capital on Friday the 13th of November. Predictably enough, perhaps, more than 2 billion euros or 2.12 billion dollars was wiped off shares in European travel and hospitality companies, as investors feared a downturn in bookings not only to France but right across the continent. Shares in airlines and tour operators dropped sharply on the first post-attack trading day as talk of tighter border controls looked like deterring seasonal visitors. Air France shares fell by 6% while Thomas Cook took a 4.8% hit. The slump proved short-lived, however. By the end of the day, most European markets had stabilized, with the Paris Bourse only marginally lower than its Friday close. While travel and leisure stocks came under pressure, defense companies gained ground in the wake of fresh military activity in Syria. There were even mutterings to the effect that the attacks may even impact the Federal Reserve's near certain decision to raise interest rates in December. Meanwhile, the European Central Bank, or ECB, demonstrated concern that the attacks might affect consumer spending, especially if the demand for high-end brands plummeted on account of well-heeled tourists giving Paris a wide berth in the all-important run-up to Christmas. This anxiety was compounded by stock market losses for Christian Dior, Hermes International and Louis Vuitton. It's likely that ECB policymakers will be tracking consumer confidence figures closely in the near future. The ECB has been supporting the recovery of the European economy with super low borrowing costs and a broad quantitative easing or QE program. The bank is likely to announce further measures at its December review. ECB chief economist Peter Preet told Bloomberg Television that usually these sorts of events have a transitory effect on the economy, so it's not a reason to change the way we see the evolution of the European economy. He continued saying it's also true, on the other hand, that we have a fragile cyclical recovery, fragile with downside risk, and it's clear these sort of events do not help restoring confidence in the recovery. So this is something we will watch. So what about the global response? Well, further afield, stock markets in Asia-Pacific were also rocked by the Paris terror attacks and generally unsatisfactory economic performance. Japan's Nikkei fell by 1.3% as new figures showed that the country's economy was dipping back into recession. The back-to-back -back contractions in the last two quarters making this the fifth time Japan has entered recession in the last seven years, creating a quintuple dip. However, the Nikkei rallied slightly as the month closed, climbing to its highest level since August. That's all for now. Join us later this week for another Bank of Cardiff newscast. And remember that all our newscasts are available on our website, www.bankofcardiff.com forward slash newscasts.